created a new track called Ivory Wind. You just go to File, New Session. And um, you have two windows. You have the uh, controller window, which is where you'll see the music show up and where you can add tracks. And then you have this mix window here where the mixer will show up. For example, I'll create a new track by going to Track, New. You select what kind of track you're going to create. In this case, I'm going to select Instrument Track. See, there it is. It's also over here. You can insert a plugin. In this case, I'm going to go to Plugin Instrument, and I'm going to select Mini Grant. Now, Pro Tools has a wide variety of VSTs, virtual um, instruments, that you can include, such as Vacuum, Expand, um, Absinthe, Battery, FM8, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Uh, Massive is a very popular one um, because it gives you this this like really you know cool like um, techno kind of thing and you can add um, <clears throat> you can add different sounds so if you go in here um, you know it's like the uh, video game sound um, but in my case here I'm going to uh, put in a piano so let's go to instrument and mini grand piano and I'm going to select um, a bright piano And I'm using a keyboard. Um, I'm using the Axiom 25 keyboard, um, which I'll show to you in a little bit. You can see. Um, so now we're going to record a song. But in order to do that, you really want to add a click, which is a metronome. Um, I believe it is going to be um, an audio track, I think. If not, I'll change it. Um, we'll create that and we'll add. Um, let's see if it's uh, in here. Uh, click effects instrument click. And it sounds like the volume is really loud, so I'm going to go in here in my volume here, and I'm going to change the volume. There we go. You should also have a, ma a master volume, so you make a master fader. And you can move these around. You can also rename these. I call this click. I usually make this the, the orange one, so I know what it is. Instruments, depending on what kind of instrument, I'll usually give, I'll assign a color to them. In this case, I'm going to assign blue to the piano, and I'm going to call this piano. Just double click on these names and click on these colors, and that's how you do it. You can again. You can move these around if you want. Um, so let's record some piano using the click. And now that I lowered the volume, I can I can I can raise this again. So let's go back in here and and and, and raise this until it sounds better. Much better. Okay. So now to select this track recording, you hit the record button. Again, you can do this from the mixer. You can record here. Um, and then once you're ready, um, you want to hit the record button to arm it. But before I record, I just realized the um, the tempo is too high. So let's let's make that like 90. Okay, record. Hit the record on the track. Hit, hit record. There we go. I just messed up. But the cool thing about this is click on here, right click, open in MIDI editor, and now you can see this what you just played and you can fix it. So first first thing I want to do is I want to bring this to the beginning. So just move it to the beginning. That way you can hear it from the beginning. Also, let's let's uh let's get rid of the click track because it's going to be annoying. Let's just mute that. You hit mute. Go back in. So I messed up somewhere. And you, 
can do this to bring the notes in a little bit to trim them. Kind of figure out what this is supposed to be here. Trim this. And now obviously that note I didn't play very hard, so I can raise this volume right over there. Then I gotta figure out this last part. I know where I messed up. Starting here. I guess I'm just repeating it kind of, but I'm but I'm removing some of these notes. Kind of like that. And then the next thing you can do is you can quantize it. So you go to event operations quantize. And this fixes the way that they're not really kind of on uh, tempo. And I hit apply and then I can listen. So you can see it kind of fixed them. There's there's a couple of missing ones in there or they're not right. So this one I would move. I just copied that and pasted it. There we go. Still a little delay here. Maybe bring it in. So that's done. So now you can trim this. You also want to make sure that you have two bars, and it looks like I do. Um, two bars, and that would be ending before that. So it's too long because it has to end here in order for it to be two bars. And usually you can um, you can change this as well to see what bar it is. Um, this one is, you know, it tells you seven and then eight. So you just want to know how many bars it is to make sure it's, it's evened out. Um, but that's how you create a one track. Then what you could do is you can add a little bit of uh, reverb to it. 
by just adding this insert. Just a little bit. From here you can add another track or you can duplicate this track if you want. Usually I duplicate it. Um, you want to call this something else. We'll call this like melody or something. Make sure you call it whatever the instrument is because you can add other instruments. Like for example, I can now add an instrument track and I can add, uh, let's see, I'm going to go into instruments. I'll do an absinthe. Um, absinthe has some pretty cool sounds. So we can do like, um, let's see, let's do like a, let's do a synth or a synth. Yeah, synth is fine. Um, we'll do um, low and see what they have. Super loud. So let's, uh, let's lower that. Okay, keep going. I was kind of looking for something like this. You can lower the octave on the keyboard. So let's see. And then for this one, what we want to do is we want to get rid of that melody and play something along. So kind of like that. So I'm going to record that. Let's call this, you know, a uh, bass anthem. Something like that because it's kind of an anthem. And let's uh, raise it a little bit. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give this, since it's a different kind of sound, we're going to have a lot of these types of like, you know, um, underlying um, different soundscapes or anthems. I usually give it a different color, so I'll give that like a purple color. All right, and um, let's record this one. I messed up. I'd rather just do it over again. <laughs> And I messed up, but I can change it. So let's go in here and um, get rid of the record here. And let's go into Open MIDI Editor. And let's figure out what we want. here and just you know make this longer get rid of that there we go And that should be eight bars. And see how I have that one actually fitting in there? This one's supposed to fit that. So there's a way to go in here and do tempo operations. And um, I guess, I don't, I don't really, I have never really done this one too much. Maybe it's time operations. Um, it's a change meter. It's been a while since I've done this one. Tempo operations or time operations. Um, there might be a way, there's a way to make this, um, end sooner okay so let's end this um here which is um, five one okay let's see if that works it's not really doing what i want i want to end at five one so let's see if that lets me for some reason it doesn't it's not oh not available in manual tempo mode okay well 
there's a way to do this. Um, I know for a fact because I've done it before. I just been, it's been a while. It'll preserve the um, the tempo basically. Um, that way it'll still be the same, but it'll be um, it'll be you know eight bars. And I can just cut this down here, like to see what happens if I cut it down. Cut it down. Let me leave it there for now. Um, okay, and then let's, let's, don't forget to save. Um, from here, we can add another piano um, on top. If you don't want a piano, you can add something else. Or very simply, you can um, bring the octave level up here. So instead of, you can bring the octave up. Of course, we got to come up with a sound. There we go, something like that. <laughs> Keep messing up. You can come up with whatever just you know whatever melodies you want. And that note, that one note's really bugging me because I actually want it to be different. <laughs> that note. No, not that one. note wasn't very high so I can bring it up a little bit maybe I can shorten these and make kind of a fun little that one was super high so I can lower that one and then bring this over maybe kind of give it a little Tremolo at the end here. This one's loud too. All these loud ones you can just bring down manual, manually like that. And obviously that's not right. It needs to be fixed a little bit. obviously not right but whatever we'll leave it alone for now you can fix all this on my quantizing or moving notes around or doing it right um, I'll add another track I'll add um, let's add a voice track I mean since this is another kind of like an anthem we'll make it again the same kind of uh, we'll call this voice and we'll give it another kind of like a purple to go with the anthem and we'll choose um, let's use uh, I think it's expand that I like. Um, expand has a lot of cool voices in it, um, and I'll go into uh, vocals and I'll look for a soft hybrid choir. Maybe not. Maybe not that one in particular, but we can find another one. Maybe like a breathy high. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. We could literally give it the same melody as this one has, or a different one. There we go. So usually what I do, it's, it's pretty easy to do actually, is just kind of paste in the same um, anthem, but instead of having the same notes, get rid of them. So, get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. And 
me get rid of this one. Kind of like that. See if that works. And let's give it a reverb so it's not super crazy. We'll give it like a church medium. And if you really want to top things off, of course, you add a violin. So we'll put a uh, we'll put a violin in there. I believe that would be the same thing as that. It'll be expand, and we'll go under strings and um, look for uh, solo violin. Okay, and this is going to be considered a string. So um, strings usually I give like a yellowish. A yellowish color. Um, I don't know why, but I always do. Um, okay, and where did my mixer go? So, just down here. Is, and usually I bring the violin up higher to above the piano. I don't know why, but I always like to keep my violins up high and um, bring the octave up a little bit. Obviously, you want to bring that volume down a little bit. Maybe give it a, again a reverb. Reverb softens things up. It makes it sound better, in my opinion. See, it's a little softer. So, to, in my opinion, it just sounds a little better. Let's try to record it. Oops. Totally messed that up. So we'll just end it there. And then, oops, wrong thing. On the, win the mix window. And let's bring up the volume a little bit. So that's kind of like, you know, the beginnings of how you make, make a song. Um, obviously, you can add a cello and you can add um, beats to this. You can add, um, if you want to add an audio track or a crash. Um, so, for example, if I want to add um, a crash to the, the beginning, maybe, um, I can add, uh, I believe it would be under, again, um, expand. Expand has a lot of great sounds. So I want to go under percussive um, or I want to go under percussion. And I want to look for, um, you know, a crash of some sort. Um, Got to try to find more like wind chimes. That might be kind of cool. Not really, not really for this, but you get you get the idea. Um, there are um, hits. That's the one I was looking for. Hits. Um, not really hits. There's a crash. There's a um, there's a there's basically what would just be a symbol. And for some reason, I cannot crash this menu. There you go. So there's like a crash. And then if you want to add like, um, you can add a cello underneath. You can add all sorts of sounds. I mean, as you see, these these virtual instruments are amazing. Um, and then if I add a reverb here, it won't be as bad. So let's see. So this doesn't sound as great as it could, obviously, but as an example, um, a song that I recently um, made 
um, that does sound pretty good called uh, I called it summer snow but um, I actually re renamed it to um, hidden paths um, and this one um, has a lot like has a lot um, of, of tracks as you see um, here I did a lot of um, you know ups and downs tons of sounds um, you know if you see the mixer I mean this is like what a song looks like That comes from this VST called um, Vacuum. It's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, that this is kind of uh, you know what a song would look like when you have a lot of tracks, when you start layering a lot of things, when you add a lot of sounds. I have French horns. I have cellos, pianos. I have basses. I have um, harpsichords. I have vo voices. I have crashes. I have orchestra sounds. I mean, I really went all out with this song, and I really wanted to make it sound majestic, kind of like a a Hans Zimmer song like Interstellar or Inception. So hopefully this helps you understand a little bit about how to use Pro Tools, how to make a basic song, how to use the mixer, um, you know, record. Pushing these makes it solo or mute. It's very simple. You can move these around. You can color code them. You can name them. And you can use the tempo and the click to keep track of, you know, your beat um, using MIDI. Um, you can manipulate these sounds by going into the MIDI editor. You can quantize them to make sure they're on point. It's pretty straightforward, and hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. If there's ever any tutorial that you want me to create in the future, leave a comment to let me know what it is, or you can email me, me at jasonsherman.org. And you can also check out my other tutorials, howto.jasonsherman.org. I'll see you in the next one.